Hey everybody, this is Strategy Wizard again, and this is my son Nathan. Hello! And today we're going to be doing a review of Pancake Pileup. This is a relay race game. It's published by Educational Insights. I didn't see that there was any particular designer here, but it does have this little sticker here that says that it's a Parents' Choice Silver Honor uh, Parents' Choice Foundation, I guess, award winner, so that's kind of cool. It's for 2 to 12 players at ages 4 and up, and it's a team-based game, but you can do two players, and then you're just, you know, one team against them, which is one versus one. But here's the thing. This game, it's about, it's a dexterity game, basically, relay racing, or I guess relay racing may not be the right term, but, the, but it's a racing game of trying to, you know, stack up your pancakes to the correct stack before your opponents, and it's honestly kind of challenging because you know you have these little spatulas and you're running around and for kids it's going to be harder than for adults so this is one of those games where and because it can fall yeah you can drop it while you're running around so it's one of those games where you're going to have to you know do what you need to do to make it reasonable for everybody make it fair for everyone because the more skillful you are you're just going to do better that's just the way it is but it's uh, a game that we're going to you know looking forward to showing you so let's go ahead and go to the table we'll show you how to play and then we'll tell you what we think Okay, so this is what the setup looks like. You're going to have everyone, both players or both teams are going to have their spatula. You're going to have all the pancakes and the butter and everything inside of here all mixed up. Yeah, all the pancakes and stuff. There's going to be mm -hmm. a set of cards, and each team's going to get one card that's going to show the stack. And I'll just bring this over here just to show what it looks like. But it's going to show what their stack is going to look like. So blueberry, plain, strawberry, chocolate, banana, and then bu always butter on top. But the or but the order of the pancakes yeah, the order, changes. Yeah, it changes all the time. So so you have to pay attention to remember what the correct uh, stack order is. So in this case, I'll give Nathan one. I'll give myself one. The rest of them can just go over here, hidden out of the way. Yeah. And now we're going to go ahead and quickly show you how to do this. So Nathan, let's go ahead and get started on your mark. Get set, go. I got the blueberry. I need, I need, I need blueberry. I need plain. Okay, and then plain for me. Strawberry. Oh, for me. be careful. Okay. Okay, banana for me. Chocolate for me. Okay, and then chocolate. Uh, for me it's butter, banana. Come on. Oh, you not? You lost one. You gotta get your banana back up there first. I won! Okay, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, so, ah, oh, I get my butter on there. Okay, so as you can see, now obviously in a normal game you'd probably be way farther away than this, but this is just to show you the basic way it works. Let's say you could put this, you know, 10 feet and away. And if you need to, you can use your hand, but I would just suggest using this. Yeah, and that's really, and, and you know, that's the other thing. You can customize the difficulty however you need to for younger players versus older players where younger players maybe they, if they knock it over they can use their hands to stack it back up versus adults maybe they have to use their spatula to get everything back uh, if, they, if, the, if it falls apart. But the point is that's how you play. You're just racing to get this done as quickly as possible and it's just a, 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 a very basic game but it's it's good for you know like say dexterity, motor skill development and and also working together as a team. So, that being said, let's go up top and we will tell you what we think. Wow, look how many pancakes I can get. Okay, so now that we know how to play, what do we think? Uh, Components-wise, Nathan, what do you think about the pancakes? What do you think about the little plates and the spatulas and all that good stuff? What, what do you like? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, I think it's... I think it's great. You like the components a lot? Mm -hmm. I, I, I do too, because the pancakes, they just have a... I mean, they're... They have a, they're kind of a somewhat squishy plastic, and the texture just looks nice. I just like the way they look. And I also, me too, and they are, and I, I agree with him. I like the squishy. Yeah, it's just very, very nice, good quality. The cards are, you know, the cards are fairly cheap, but the, but that's not a big deal because the cards, you're not really handling it. You're just leaving it there to come back and see what your next pancake is. So they don't need to be super high quality. And the spatulas are nice. I mean, they're they're relatively cheap plastic, but again, for what you're doing, that's perfect. There's no, nothing to worry about there. Now, what, Nathan, what do you think about replayability, playing it over and over again? Is it fun, The more, even if you play it, you know, 10 times? It's fun. Even if you play it like 80 times, I think it's great. Okay, so, and, and why do you think that is? It's it's just so fun because you're trying to stack the pancakes up and you never know what might happen. You, it might fall, 
but then you get a chance and you still might win. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. That's right, and that's the thing. Even if you didn't have the the cards that change up what your stack uh, uh, is, it's always going to be fun just doing the race, even if you have the same pancakes to do every time, because it's just exciting to do the race. It's fun to, to run over there and, and, and try to go as fast as you can. So that keeps the replayability high no matter what. And you can change up teams if you want. You know, have the girls against the boys or what, however you want to do it. I like the girls against the boys. Yeah. So, so that's cool. Now, what about uh, strategy? I mean, there's not really a lot of strategy in the game, I don't think. But, you know, is there, much, is there any thinking involved in this game? Thinking? Yeah, do you have to think about what you're doing? Not really. Yeah, I mean, it's not... If it's, I had to work that, it would just be one. Because you got to think, like, ooh, i got to do this, so i got, I got to find what that is. But it's still not that that much thinking. Yeah, there's not a lot of thinking. I mean, literally, the only, it's more about memory, remembering which pancake did I just place, so you know which pancake to do next. So it's not... Sometimes really, I forget that. Yeah, that's that's the main thing. But there's, but there's not, not really strategy. And it's just a matter of... it's a funny of, game. It is funny. Not action, not anything, but it's, it's just, funny. It's just a hilarious racing game for, you know, trying to stack your pancakes up as fast as you can. And just remembering, what did I just play so you know what to grab next? Wow. And now, Nathan, what do you think about, um, overall, what would you rate this game? Not too... That would be a pretty big win. Th throw you at a 30. 30 out of 30? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not too much. Or do you mean 30 out of 10? 30 out of 10. Oh, okay. 30 out of 10. Okay, well, 30 out of 10, so you you like it a pretty darn good bit. I do. Okay. And I would say, as a, as a kid's game, I would give this probably... Well, maybe a, actually 20 out of 10. 20 out of 20 10. 20 out of 10. Okay, so still high, but not... Not super duper high. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. To me, this is a 9 out of 10 whenever it comes to kids games because, one, it's good for adults because it's a race, and a race is good for anybody. And it is challenging to balance those pancakes in this spatula. You know, if, whenever, whenever you start moving, it doesn't take much to lose it. So yeah, it, it doesn't take it much. It keeps it interesting for all age, uh, every age range. So, But for kids, it's really good because it can help them get those motor skills, you know, practiced up and have a good time while you're doing it. So 9 out of 10 for me. Excellent, excellent kids game that's also fun for adults. Yes, excellent. Yeah, so we're, we're really happy about this one. This one was a, was a good buy for sure. Bye. So that being said, um, we appreciate you watching the video. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. If you liked it, it'd be cool if you give us a thumbs up or subscribe, see some more of our videos. Uh, in the meantime, though, we will look forward to seeing you on the next one, and we appreciate you for everything. We'll see you then. Bye.